Okay, today we'll talk about ocean circulation. And ocean circulation is determined by a number of factors. Um, near the surface, this is typically a balance of wind forcing that moves the surface of the ocean and that is balanced typically by the Coriolis force which we discussed a couple of lectures back and then at depth and most of the vertical motion of the ocean circulation is driven by temperature and salinity gradients. So let's label these one and two and let's look at number one first. So for the ocean surface what happens is that you have the wind blowing in one direction and exerting a shear stress on the ocean surface. And what Coriolis does is it deflects the direction in which the surface current moves to the right in the northern hemisphere. So this is northern hemisphere and deflects it to by 45 degrees. This is the surface current here. And you can imagine as you now go down in the water column. So every layer experiences this shear force but also the Coriolis force so you get a certain deflection angle at every layer that you go down and obviously this is sort of a continuous process and not all momentum gets transferred so the forcing becomes less and it sort of stops around 100 meters typically or so. So if I project this downward onto a horizontal plane, let's say down here, you get this spiral and this is called the Ekman spiral. And as a result if you integrate over the whole depth, you get transport to the right of the wind in the northern hemisphere of this surface mixed layer. So the net transport is not actually in the direction of the wind, but 90 degrees to the wind. So in plan view, you have the wind going in one direction, let's say straight north here, and the surface moves at 45 degrees in that direction, and then the depth lower down, follow this spiral. And if you integrate over the top surface over this whole spiral then your transport is to the right. Now let's consider what happens if your wind blows along a coastline like a boundary of the ocean. So imagine the California coastline Here's Baja California, the Sea of Cortez. Somewhere up here is San Francisco, LA. And so what happens is that you have predominant winds blowing from north to south. And as a result, you have 
Ekman transport of the upper ocean offshore. But that creates a vacuum at the coastline here. You're moving away all this water. And so what happens is that you create, you drive upwelling from the depths of the ocean here to the surface to fill in this water that gets moved away from the sh shoreline. And so as a result, the waters off the coast of California are actually surprisingly cold because this is upwelling of cold, deep waters. And the Eggman spiral and Eggman transport are named after Wagen Eggman, who was a research student on the expedition of the Fram in the Arctic Ocean by, led by Fridtjof Nansen. And Ekman observed that all the floating ice was always drifting at some angle to the wind, not actually with the wind. Um, and so he came up with this explanation um, that the Coriolis force will deflect anything that is driven by wind on the surface of the ocean. And at the time, it was all about neat hair and strong beards.